The bubble sort algorithm sorts lists of data into ascending or descending order. Sorted information is far more useful than unsorted lists. Just imagine if the information in a football league table was presented in a random order. It would take ages to work out who was at the top. Putting the list in order of points value means you know who's likely to win and who's at risk of relegation. Computers spend a lot of time ordering data and there are lots of different types of sorting algorithms. Programmers have tried to devise better and more efficient sorting algorithms. Some are simple and are easy to code, but others take longer to program. The bubble sort is a relatively simple algorithm and it's easy to understand and code. Although it is slower than some other algorithms, for small lists fewer than 10,000 records, the difference won't be noticeable. In an online marketplace, we often want to sort the items into price order, usually from lowest to highest. This can be quite easy for us to do with a computer, because all we have to do is click a button, but behind the scenes, a sorting algorithm is working out the correct order to show them in. Here's a selection of fruit. Each of them is of a different price, and imagine we want to sort them into order to find out which one is the cheapest, using the bubble sort algorithm. The bubble sort algorithm takes a list of sortable items and rearranges it into a particular order. It does this by comparing neighbouring pairs of items and swapping them around if they're not in order. The algorithm will often pass through the entire list several times, comparing and swapping items until the list is correctly sorted. Let's see how it works with our list of fruit. In our example, the algorithm begins by comparing the first two items, which are 32p and 12p. 32 is larger than 12, so the two items swap around. Now the algorithm compares the items in second and third place. As the 32 and 12 were swapped around in the first step, 32 is now compared to 25. As 32 is larger, they swap places. The third step compares 32 and 99. 99 is already larger than 32, so these two stay in the same position. And the final step of the first pass is to compare 99 with 30. 99 is larger than 30, so these items swap. As we've now compared each pair of items in the list, the first pass is finished. However, the list is not yet in the correct order. As some items were swapped, another pass will occur. But notice how the largest number has already been moved into its correct position. So the second pass starts by comparing 12 and 25, which are in the correct positions. Then 25 and 32, which are also in the correct positions. The third step compares 32 with 30. 32 is larger than 30, so they swap. And then 32 and 99 are compared and don't move. A final pass then takes place. And because each item is now in the correct order, no swaps are made and the algorithm finishes at the end of this pass. It will now return the sorted list. In each pass, the highest value in the list that hasn't already been sorted is moved along the list to the correct position. As the higher values move upwards, these values appear to bubble their way upwards in the list, like air bubbles rising in water. This is what gives the bubble sort algorithm its name.